A very good afternoon and welcome to this edition of ES 101's Visual Radio. Bringing you the news, I'm Hashni Patrana. And first up is a look at your headlines. News first headline. Over 200 independent groups submit deposits for general election. U.S. Pacific Fleet Commander arrives in Sri Lanka, meets U.S. Envoy in Colombo. Vimal's NFF to skip upcoming parliamentary elections. And in your international headlines, Hurricane Milton marches across central Florida, destroying homes. And in your sports, Frenchman Gasquet, 38 years old, to retire after Roland Garris. On to your top story this hour, the leader of the National Freedom Front or the NFF, Vimal Viramansa, has announced that his party will not contest in the upcoming parliamentary elections. In a statement, Viramansa emphasized the party's commitment to protecting the mandate given to the president by the people, honoring the legacy of the Janata Vimukti Peramuna or the JVP. Viramansa highlighted that the NFF believes its role outside parliament is more significant and impactful than participating within it. He stressed that the party's decision is a collective one aimed at ensuring a stronger and more influential presence in the political landscape. The statement also noted that the NFF will not be contesting either as part of a coalition or independently in the forthcoming elections. In more local news, the Election Commission has announced that 293 independent groups have submitted their deposits for the upcoming general election. Additionally, 88 political parties and independent groups have already submitted their nominations. The deadline for submitting nominations for the general election is tomorrow at 12 noon. The deadline for independent groups to submit their deposits is also tomorrow at 12 noon. Meanwhile, the Election Commission has said that the deadline for submitting postal vote applications is midnight tonight. All government and provincial public service officers, except those exempted from election duties, are required to apply for postal voting. The Election Commission emphasized that failure to apply for postal voting or the rejection of applications due to deficiencies does not exempt individuals from election duties. Admiral Steve Kohler, a four-star U.S. Navy Admiral and commander of U.S. Pacific Fleet, arrived in Sri Lanka today. His visit marks the highest level U.S. military visit to the country since 2021. U.S. Navy four-star Admiral Stephen Webb Kohler to Sri Lanka also met with U.S. Ambassador to Sri Lanka, Julie Chung, following his arrival. During the visit, Admiral Kohler will reaffirm the strong partnership between the United States and Sri Lanka for an enduring, resilient, free and open Indo-Pacific. Admiral Kohler will engage with senior Sri Lankan officials to discuss rising security challenges in the Indian Ocean region, strengthen collaboration on maritime domain awareness and disaster response, reaffirm U.S. commitment to supporting Sri Lanka in combating transnational threats and discuss the growing cooperation between U.S. and Sri Lankan forces. International News Now shifting your attention to the international arena, Hurricane Milton marched across central uh, Florida today after making landfall on the state's west coast hours earlier, whipping up deadly tornadoes, destroying homes and knocking out power to nearly 2 million consumers. The storm made landfall around 8.30 p.m. on Wednesday as a Category 3 hurricane with maximum sustained winds of 120 miles per hour near Siesta Key, the U.S. National Hurricane Center said. Now by 11 p.m., winds speeds had reduced to 105 meters per hour a bigger pardon 105 miles per hour dropping Milton to a category 2 hurricane nonetheless still considered extremely dangerous the eye of the storm was 75 miles southwest of Orlando in the center of the state <laughs> Sports.
Sports News. Finally, taking a look at the sports update, former world number no. 7 Richard Gasquet will retire after the French Open next year, the Frenchman announced today, bringing the curtain down on a 22-year career. The 38-year-old is a twice Wimbledon semi-finalist and a one-time US Open semi-finalist. His best courting at Roland Garros came in 2016 when he reached the quarter-finals. Gasquet has won 16 ATP Tour titles, with the latest coming in Auckland last year. And with that, we wrap up this edition of Yes 101's Wish World Radio. I'm Hashni Pathirana. Thank you for watching and stay tuned for more of the very latest.